So you're looking for a guide on how to play Aglet. I'm Niall, I'm currently second in the world for steps taken on Aglet, and I'm gonna show you the basics of how Aglet works. So we're gonna set up an account and I'm gonna teach you how to understand the game. So as you take steps, you earn Aglet, whether you're indoors or outdoors, but verified steps are outdoor steps and they earn you Aglet 10 times as fast. But a common misconception is you want to use your best earners outside for verified and then some not as good shoes indoors so that you don't waste the aglet but that's not true your durability is linked to your aglet earned and not the steps taken so you could take 100,000 steps inside and you'd earn the same amount of aglet from the same shoe as if you were walking 10,000 steps outdoors so if you're arriving back home from a walk and you're taking the shoes off that you're wearing and putting some worse ones on there's no point just keep on grinding with the same highest earning shoe to get the most aglet possible so when you're out walking you can visit stashes which can provide you with aglet shoes to wear in game or sometimes even real actual shoes and that's very very rare so i'm going to run you through setting up an account now so let's go choose your first shoe if you haven't made an aglet account yet i definitely recommend going with a triple white air force one they are the best shoe for earning at the start. It's very minimal, but you know, you want to get everything that you can out of this. So you tap twice on the screen and then you can flick off the lid. Now you're rocking your shoe. So it's gonna give us a little tutorial here. This is your wear screen. It's where you see your steps, your earn rate, uh, your aglet earned, how much the shoe cost, it's durability. Press next and head over to your shelf. You haven't got anything yet. On this next screen, it asks you to set up your player profile. So let's go ahead and do that. Ask you to choose your at, my email address, uh, this is just a fake test account so I'm just going to boom at gmail.com and referral code. So you can earn extra aglet by referring your friends. You get a thousand aglet per referral which is real good at the start. To get the aglet for a referral though, you need someone to walk 10,000 steps and a thousand of those steps need to be outdoor verified steps. I don't have a referral code to enter so... I'm just going to leave it and then you need to secure your account with a password make sure that your email account is right because it doesn't ask you to enter that twice and i know people have had problems with their email not working because they've entered it wrong and they can't log back into their account so now we've entered our password and we'll save that so we get access to another shoe it's either going to be one of the air force one the stan smith or the converse it's a converse okay so now we've got a shoe on our shelf and let's get moving so this page then shows you there's only one way to earn and that is by walking. And to be honest, if you're going to sit there shaking your phone, there's absolutely no point. You're probably using more energy than you would be just easily going for a walk. So if you set up your account, you'll see on the wear page a little green dot and a number that fluctuates. That is your average earn rate over the past hour. It's not your current earn rate, it's the average. So these three icons here are the stashes, dead stock stations and repair stations. The stashes are like the poker stops of the game if you've played Pokemon Go. When you visit stashes you can get rewards like your Aglet, your sneaker boxes, like the one we just got where we got the Converse Chuck Taylors, or real shoes, but they are very rare. There are also some invisible stashes on the map. I've got one near Quick Fit near me that's um, totally invisible, it's not on the map, but when you walk past it, it tells you you've hit an aglet location, just click here to see what it is. And that secret stash gives me a thousand aglet when I use it. And unlike Pokemon Go, stashes do have a cooldown time of over a day instead of five minutes. Like when I first got the game, I was expecting, oh, I don't know how long these are going to be cooling down for, but some of them are over a day. So be wary of that. And they do run dry. If you get a notification saying this oasis is dry, that means you can't use it until they refresh all the stashes in the game if your village town city is running really low on um, locations near you you can chat to the team via the in-game messenger and be like hey yo what's going on because at the end of the day they don't want you to not play the game because there's nothing around you so they will manually add locations near you so i've accidentally closed down that message that popped up but if i hit explore i can see all those icons again on the map so we've talked about these, the stashes. This is a treasure stash here at Tesco. This one is in the park. They both give out 100 and 100, 100, 200 aglet. But this one here is a repair station. So if I go back to my wear, I currently have 100% health on this shoe. But as I walk, I'd earn aglet and that'd start to go down. When your shoe's wear percentage gets low, you can either use aglet sneaker shine 
you can head to a repair station like this or you could head to a dead stock station all those are sorted by tier that you can use with the shoes so this here is a tier 5 shoe as you can see the class is tier 5 so that will work on any repair station or dead stock station for that matter this repair station here only repairs by 10 percent and repair stations as far as i'm aware only repair either 10 or 20 percent whereas dead stock stations repair your shoe to 100 percent and also a common misconception is that a dead stock will repair your repairs and that's not true a dead stock uses a repair so i exclusively use dead stock stations to repair my shoes i haven't got one in my town but i have some in driving distance there are all these green ones here i can get to those they're all tier 3 maximum sadly so dead stock stations repair your shoe to 100 percent repair stations get your shoes to either 10 percent better or 20 percent better and in the shop over here you have aglet sneaker shine you can either buy it with regular aglet or gold aglet and i'll talk about gold aglet in a bit but aglet sneaker shine uses a repair and only does a maximum of 40 percent but you can use it for home, you don't have to go out and find a station. So, so far on this game, I've done 10 steps. That has earned me 0.02 aglets, so not an awful lot, but they are base rate steps, they're not verified steps outside, so I'm not going to earn an awful lot. So I'm just going to show you how you would request some stations and stashes being added in your town. You click the purple box at the bottom, and then in the top left corner, there is a message kind of icon. It says hello to you, and this here is called Intercom. It's what they will message you on and you hit new conversation and you say hi. So I've written a message out for a town that's near me that's small and hasn't got any stashes or anything really. I said hi I live in a small town in Cheshire called Sandbach. There aren't many stashes or repair stations near me. Is there any chance you could put some nearby so I can play the game more? Thank you. So as long as you're nice and polite to them they'll be nice and polite to you and they'll help you out. So you get a message back saying Aglet typically replies in a few hours you can just head off there but quite often it's much sooner than a couple of hours they're really really good at supporting the game and while we're waiting for a message back i'm going to show you about gold aglet so gold aglet is the premium currency of the game kind of like uh, v bucks for fortnite your fifa points your card points and you use the gold aglet to buy shoes or sneaker shine in the game so, so say you decide to ball out and spend 14 quid on 140 gold aglet the aglet one ga here costs 140 aglet and it's a very good shoe so if you wear this shoe through three times this shoe will give you 73,960 aglet and that total possible profit is not possible from any regular aglet shoe in the game so we've just got a reply from Dave he said hi there can you please send a screenshot of your explore screen so you would close that down go to where hit explore and I said sandbatch didn't I which is this town here so I send a screenshot, Dave's a really nice guy, he chats in the Aglet Discord a lot and I'd recommend joining the Discord if you are interested in the game and there's a lot of like minded people in there talking about the game and other things throughout the day. So as a new player I'd definitely say to aim for these shoes here, the Aglet 1 Triple Purple. I should have mentioned these before talking about Gold Aglet because not many people are going to buy the premium currency but it's best to get out there that there is a premium currency in the game if you're going free to play this is the way to go so you'd wear your air force ones until you can afford a pair of these the aglet one triple purple these are a great shoe as a starter shoe because they earn you a total of 1125 aglet from spending 75 aglet so it's a no-brainer for me any of the shoes around that kind of earn rate cost you 135 aglet 125 aglet 170 aglet even there's one right above it, 680 aglet. So aglet always seems to make the aglet one a very good earn rate shoe. Which brings me on to the next shoe I'd recommend getting after those, which is these, the aglet one high OG. This one will cost you 1,950 aglet, but it's no problem for you. You've just worn aglet one triple purple, dead stocked it three times, and you've gone through that process a couple of times, and you've got. 3,000 aglet to spend. This shoe here will earn you about 7,403 aglet for the three wears of it that you'll get with the two repairs. And then once you've got enough aglet for these, the cowboy boots made for walking, oof, you're in the money. One single wear through of these gets you 7,875 aglet. So straight away, even if you only wear them once, you're in profit. But the total possible profit for these shoes is 17,675 aglet. And by the time you're watching this video, they may well be the best shoe that you can wear in the game at the moment, because 
The top shoe at the moment is the Nike Donk SB De La Sol. They're also a tier 3 and as far as I'm aware every single deadstock station repairs a tier 3. They cost you 14,000 aglet, one wear through earns you 11,480 with a maximum total profit of 20,000 thereabouts aglet. But I think there's only 550 of them in the shop and they're going to go fast. You also get rewards for your lifetime steps. So you get rewards here for 10,000 steps, 20,000 steps, 50,000 steps, 100,000 steps, 200, 400, 600, 850, and a million steps. I'm currently on just over 1.5, and I didn't get a reward for 1.5. There may be one for two, but no one has hit it yet. And for these tier rewards, you get shoes from Shop 1.0, so they're shoes that you can't actually get in the game anymore. And another tip I want to give you is don't buy every shoe in the game. I've done it on the past two shops and I've decided it's not worth it I'm just going to keep grinding and grinding and grinding so that I can get better shoes and you may look at the shop and scroll down to the bottom and think wow these Neil Armstrong moon boots 4 million Agla they cost 90,000 verified earn rate only 36 durability no repairs this is a shoe you would not wear because as you'll come to learn as you play the game not all shoes are profitable in fact none of these top four or five or six are profitable shoes. They're shoes that you'd have in your collection and when reselling comes or trading, whatever they're going to call it, um, they'll probably be worth a lot. Aglet does have a help section on their website. I'll link it down below if there's any more help that you need. I definitely would recommend you join the Discord and chat to me and other players on there. It's very active throughout the day and you can keep talking and learning more about the game. So Dave's asked to see my location in the screenshot of the blue dot. It will have to be like your town. Uh, I've just sent him a message saying hey it's me I'm just doing this for a video just to show how an interaction would go but I think I've covered things if there's anything I've missed just ask in the comment section or join the discord and ask definitely worth joining there there's so many friendly people who will help you out and play the game and I it's just a growing community and I'd recommend joining I'm gonna leave it there with this chat with Dave but that is how your conversation would go after a few hours he'd probably put the locations in or if he's got a load of backlog he'd add it to the back of the backlog and in a couple days you'll get a message saying hey I've added the locations for you and you'll then go on to your explore hit scan and your new locations will be there for you I would have head outside to record this video and show you more of me walking around but unfortunately this is what the weather's like right now so this video here we'll just have to do more videos coming which will be more entertaining i'll talk about shop updates game updates including like patch notes i'll give you tactics for earning aglet like what shoes in the shop currently have the best earn rates possible the guys on the discord said they wanted the videos to be more like vlogs and they also said they want me to talk about how i think the game can improve so any other suggestions you have in the comments just let me know and uh, we'll see where this goes thank you for watching and i'll see you in a bit